Hey, this is Mr. Mason it. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice some problem solving involving decimals, fractions, and unit rates. So this problem reads that Mason is paid $9.60 per hour. He worked six hours. He gave his mother one fourth of his earnings. How much did Mason have left? Now, here is how I would approach this problem. I would start just by figuring out how much Mason made. So I'm going to take $9.60 and 60 cents and multiply that by six hours. So this is going to give us a zero here, 36, 54 plus three is 57. So we would say altogether Mason earned $57 and 60 cents. All right, now this amount right here is the total amount of money that Mason earned over six hours. So the entirety of the pie is $57.60. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pie and I'm going to break it into quarters. And his mother or mom gets one of these quarters and Mason will get the three other quarters. So basically what we can do is we can take this $57.60 and we can just break it into four equal parts. So let us take $57.60 and divide that into four equal parts. So let's take this decimal and raise it up. Four goes into five one time. One group of four is four. And if we take that away from five, that leaves us with one. Drop the seven. Four goes into 17 four times. Four times four is 16. The difference here is one. We bring down our six. Four goes into 16 exactly four times. We can stop there, but because we're dealing with dollars and cents, let's just put a zero in the hundreds place. So we would say that Mason's mother is going to receive $14.40. And these three fourths represent the amount that Mason retains. So he gets $14.40 three times. So what we can do now to figure out how much Mason has left is we can take $14.40 and multiply that by three. So here we have 0, 12, 12 again, plus 1 is 13, carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, and here is where our decimal point goes. So we would say that Mason is going to have $43.20 left to himself. All right, now another way that we can approach this problem is we can take the total amount of money that Mason earned, $57.60, and we can multiply it by three-fourths written as a decimal. Now remember, his mother received one-fourth, which means Mason gets three-fourths. And three-fourths written as its decimal equivalent is 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. So if we multiply this total by 75 hundredths, that is automatically going to give us the amount of money that Mason gets to keep. And it should be equal to $43.20. So let us go ahead and do the math. So we have a product of zero here. This is 30. We carry the three. Five times seven is 35. Plus three is 38. Carry the three. Five times five is 25. Plus three is 28. All right, on the next row, we go to the seven. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times six is 42. We carry the four. Seven times seven is 49. Plus four more is 53. We carry the 5 from that 53, and 7 times 5 is 35, plus 5 more is 40. All right, let us go ahead and add our columns up. This is 0, 0, 10. We carry the 1, of course. This is 12. Carry the 1. This is 3, and this is 4. Now, in the problem, we have a total of four digits altogether after all decimals in the problem. So we go to the end here, and we count to the left 1, 2, 3, 4. We put our decimal in that position, and we would say that Mason gets to keep $43.20. We can truncate or eliminate these two ending zeros. So note that we get the same answer using this strategy as we did doing it this way. 